Okay, so now class, uh, can you write down your name and your metric number in our text box? Because I have three marks for your attendance. Excuse me, what we should write? Uh, write down your name and your matrix number in text box. Okay, class, I hope you're done. Eh? All right, so, so today this is uh, our third class. Actually, uh, we are in a week five. Okay, so you miss a two, uh, two time for lecture class. Actually, it's okay lah for me because, all right, actually the first class, I have to do some of introduction and I, I have to tell us about the assessment. Okay, uh, it's that what I have to do it for the first time class. So because you, um, we, we are set your lecture class a little bit late, so you miss two classes, okay? But for me, it's, it's just okay because for test one, okay, so the, cop the topic cover just topic one, two, and three, okay? For your assessment one, the topic cover is just test one, and topic one, topic two, and topic three. So topic one and topic two, we already done, right? So today, I uh, what we will learn for today, what we has learned to today is uh, topic three, to cover topic three today. And, okay, I was planning, uh, I want to make a sum of replacement class on this Friday, okay, if everyone available. If not, I have to make a sum of recording class. And then I have to share to everyone about the link and please preview the recording class in YouTube. So which one you available? You uh, is it we have to do it a replacement class online or you want to recording class? Which one you available? Yes. Recording class. Yes, you recording, recording class. class. Because we have other classes. Yes. All right. Okay. So if you right. available for recording class, uh, yes. I try to make it as soon as possible. Maybe a, um, by this Friday. Okay. Because after this and tomorrow, I also have another class, right? So I have uh, make it the uh, your recording class by this Friday, and I will share the links to all of you, and please preview the record class in YouTube, right? Okay, so Thank settle. You. Okay. And then, sorry, what is it? Sound good. Sound good? <laughs> Sound good, Alhamdulillah. No, just uh, sound good. Yeah, we'll listen to the link. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, yes, Nasir, uh, right? it's a good yes. idea. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Professor. I'm sorry I missed a little bit. Uh, so is that means we have no class next week? No, 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 no. Okay. About next week, okay, I have to explain this exactly, guys, okay? Next week, we have to run your, assess your assessment one, your test one, next week, okay? So, I will detail about the test at the end of this lesson, all right? So, just now, we have to focus about the lesson first. So, at the end of the lesson, we will discuss about your test one, how the procedure what the question is, what time, everything lah, right? Okay, so I will explain about the uh, assessment after okay. at the end. Okay, so just now, let's we begin our class for today, of three. So I told you at the early, uh, at this, uh, because before I start the class, I already tell you the test one, assessment one, the topic conclude is topic one, two, and three only, right? So topic one, uh, we are talking about how to read the syllable, how to read the sentence, and also how to read the paragraph. Okay, the topic two, uh, how to tell, uh, how to tell you, uh, how to tell what you are reading, where you tell us about your name, about your age, about your hobby, and everything lah. Okay, how to introduce yourself in Bahasa Melayu. But today, topic three, 
Okay, we have to conclude, uh, we have to discuss about introduction, introduction to family and friends. How you in, try to introduce your family and your friends to others. All right. Okay, so let's begin. Okay. Okay, so first of all, okay. So uh, the first topic, we're talking about my family. So my family, we're talking about, let's assume this is, you have a complete family. Maybe some of you, they have uh, the only one child in your family. Maybe you have a two sibling only, you and your brothers only, okay? So just assume this is your family, the complete family. We have, they have a complete member, like fathers, mother, sister, younger sister, and also brothers, okay? So the vocab today is what the members' name are in Bahasa Melayu. Fathers are in Bahasa Melayu, we call it ayah or bapa. Same like English style. Sometimes they are called father. Sometimes they are called daddy. Sometimes they are called dad. Okay, so many. So, it's so many nicknames lah for father in Bahasa Melayu. Sometimes we call it ayah. And sometimes uh, we call it bapa. The second one, remember, is mother. Mother, sometimes in Bahasa Melayu, is ibu. And also sometimes we call it emak or also mak. Right, mak. Okay, ibu, emma, or emma. Okay, the third member is sister. Sister refer for ka, ka. Okay, ka, ka. You have to pronounce K at the end of the word. Not ka, 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 ka. Because many students always say ka, 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 ka. Okay, ka, ka. Right? And then younger sister. It is adik. Okay, some of people, they put adik perempuan. Because perempuan, that means it's girl. Okay, and lelaki, the meaning is boy. So, when they look at the picture, uh, they say, adik perempuan. Adik lelaki. But for Bahasa Melayu, we did not specify the gender. Just call adik. So, the, the other people know. Yes, the one this is younger than you. Okay, adik. But if you want to put adik perempuan, it's just okay. Still correct. Okay, abang for brothers. Okay, abang. Oh, yes. Sorry, teacher. Troop is waiting for our size. Oh, okay. All right. So many students waiting room. All right. So ready. Okay. So may I have a uh, Khalid? Khalid, are you there? Khalid. Khalid, yes, are you there? Yes, okay. I'm here. Khalid, can you try to reach the member of the family? Yes. Father is meaning Papa, or just in uh, Malay language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imak, uh, Kakak, Adik, Abang. Mm -hmm. Okay, very clear. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, so guys, you can uh, practice the name of the family member behind your mic also. Okay, so just now I prepare to you. This is the simple short essay. How to introduce your family's member to others. Okay. All right. So look at. There are have a two paragraph. The first paragraph we are talking about you and your fathers and mothers. Okay. So I have to read first. Okay. Listen carefully. And then I, I try to explain sentence by sentence. All right. Hi, semua. Is that like a great thing? So it's up to you. You want to start with hi, hello, assalamualaikum, and so many things. All right? But you must be start with hi. Okay? And if not, you must be start with a great thing. Hi, semua. I mean, is hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Nama saya Alina. My name is Alina. Okay? Ini keluarga saya. This is my family keluarga is family nama ayah saya ahmad that mean is what is it ayah at this you got it father yes so fa, uh, fa, alina's father's name is ahmad okay ahmad alina's father's name is ahmad nama saya uh, nama ayah saya ahmad okay even i read nama ayah saya ahmad that mean is it my father's name Saya refer for whose? My father. Your father. Ah, okay. For me, yeah. Yes. 
in based on this paragraph, saya refer for Alina because I'm just a reader only. Okay, nama ayah saya Ahmad. Okay, so saya in this paragraph refer for Alina. That means is nama ayah Alina ialah Ahmad. Okay, it's not my father's name. Okay, uh, I just a reader only, so I just read about the Alina. Okay, dia seorang jurutera. Okay, he is an engineer. Okay, dia, he. Okay, for English, he for a man, she for a woman, right? But for in Bahasa Melayu, we did not specify the gender. You can use dia for man and also for woman. Okay, dia, look at dia. I mean, it's ayah Alina, Ahmad lah. Dia refer for Ahmad. Ahmad, she is an engineer. Nama ibu saya pula, ibu. Okay, ibu. Who is it, ibu? Ibu is? Mother. Mother. So, that means is my mother's or Alina's mother's? Alina mother's. Alina's mother's because I just a reader only. I just read only this paragraph. So, paragraph talking about Alina. Even I say, nama saya, nama ibu saya pula, Arina. So, Alina's mother's name is Arina. Okay. Dia seorang suri rumah. You see? Dia for Ahmad and Dia for Arina. Okay, that means she is a housewife. She is a housewife. Okay? Alright, so settle. So, we're going to the uh, second paragraph. Saya ada tiga orang adik beradik. Okay, saya, I mean, I have three of sibling. Adik beradik. Okay, when we are talking about adik beradik, it means conclude you. You, your brother and your sister. But if you say, I have two brother and two sister without you. That means the, the all of item is five. Two brothers, two sister and you. Five. But if you say adik beradik, it means conclude you. Your brother, your sister and you. Okay, adik beradik. I have to explain this part because some of students, when they are test one, when they are examining asking you to introduce about your family, they say, I have, uh, I have two brothers. So when the examiner say, how many uh, siblings does you have? If you have, the answer is two. Why two? Actually, the answer is three because conclude you. Okay. So you have to be clear this part. Saya ada tiga, uh, tiga orang adik-beradik. You, father and also your sister. Nama abang saya Azman. Okay, my father's name is Azman. Dia, I mean is Azman. Okay, dia suka membaca buku. Pronounce C, sound of C. Membaca, not membakar. Eh. Dia suka membaca buku. That means is Azman. He loves to read books. Right? Nama adik perempuan saya pula, I mean is the younger sister name, is Amira. Dia suka bermain dengan anak patung. She love to play with doll. Okay. okay. The little girl hang out with some of doll. Alright. Saya sayang keluarga saya. I love my family. Okay. Uh, this story a very simple. Yes, very simple. Very basic. They are talking about the family. So, uh, okay, you can use this script, try to replicate about your family, right? Okay, settle. So, I need a few of, uh, from you, try to reach again because I want to check your pronunciation about your reading. Okay, so, any volunteer who want to read this paragraph? Yes. Okay, Aba, Aba Lula. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, hi, semua. Uh, nama saya Alina. Ini kilo, keluar, kilo, keluarga saya. Mm -hmm. Nama ayah saya Ahmad. Dia siwa. Siwa. Seorang. 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 Jor. Tira. 
nama ibu saya Bula Rina. Dia si orang suri rumah. Saya ada tiga orang adik birati nama abang saya Azman. Dia suka membaca membaca buku. Nama adik ber berbuan saya bula Amira. Dia suka bermain dengan anak batung. Saya sayang kelo warga saya. Saya sayang keluarga saya. Keluarga. Uh, Excuse me, Prophet. Yes. Uh, Excuse me, uh, could you mean Lin Ini Kulu Arak Saya? Because I, le I, join, I join meeting delayed. Okay, all right. Okay, don't worry. Okay, for sure. Okay, Ini Keluarga Saya, this is my family. Okay? Okay. This is my yes. family. All right, got it. Thank okay. You. All right, so next one. Next. Okay, uh, who is it? Okay, how much? I wanted to ask a question. Okay, what is it? What the question is? Uh, let's say if we have three brothers, how do we introduce them? Three brothers. Okay, yeah. yes, you can say adik beradik. Okay, because it's, when you okay. when you say adik beradik, it's not specify the gender. Conclude how many sibling? Adik beradik is sibling, is it? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so okay. if you have three brothers. And you, so there are four sibling. Okay, if you want to mention, I have saya ada tiga orang abang. I have three brothers. I mean, you have brother one, brother two, brother three, and you. So they have a four brothers. So I have four sibling. Saya ada tiga orang abang. That means you have a three brothers. Conclude you. The total is four brothers. Okay. Okay, so one more. Who want to read? Hamad. Okay, let's Hamad. Go ahead. Uh, <coughs> saya ada tiga orang. Uh, uh, Hamad, ada... Hamad. Hamad, can you start with the begin? Where? Uh, the second paragraph or the first? The first paragraph. Oh, okay. Uh, saya sima nama wait, saya... Wait, wait, wait. Hamad, Hamad. Not haya. Yes. Hi, hi. Okay. Hi, Sima. Semua. Wait, ya. Semua. Yes, hi, semua. Semua. Mm -hmm. Nama saya Alina. Mm -hmm. uh, lini. I, not I, Lini. Iligu, ini. Ini. Ili Gurua saya. Nama saya. Saya Ahmad. Di, di, dia seorang jurutera. Dia tria. seorang. Dia seorang jurutera. Dia ada di, tiga syllable. Dia seorang. Yes. Jurutera. Mm -hmm. Nama Iba saya. Nak Iba. Okay. Ibu. Ibu. Ibu, ibu hmm. saya pula Rina. Hmm. Dia si orang si siri rumah. Hmm. Continue. Yes, yes. Saya ada tiga orang uh, Idi Bridia. Nama Abang saya Uzman. Azman. Dia, Azman. Dia sika sia sorry di, dia sika dia sia mem, mem, membaka puka. Not membaka son of C is C. Membaca buku. Right. Membaca buka. Buku. 
Buku, sorry, buku. Hmm. Nama Hadi, Hadi, Hadia Prima Pang, Prima. Perempuan. Perem. Perem. Puan. 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 Saya pula Amira. Yes. Dia si, sia. Dia suka. Dia suka. Dia suka. Riman dingga dinggan. Ani hutang. Anak patung. Anak patung. Sia siang. Saya saya. Saya siang. Saya saya. Kil il ilara ilara gase saya. Keluarga saya. Keluarga saya. Yes, keluarga saya. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. You try to read. You're very nice. Okay. Try to hard. Too hard working. Try to read. Okay. Very good. Terima kasih, Ahmad. Okay. I very appreciate. Okay. The last one. Want to try to read this paragraph? Yeah, me. Yes, who is it, Nasir? Is it you? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Hai, hai sama. Uh, no, wait, wait, semua. Hai, semua. Mm -hmm. uh. Name saya Alena. Nama, not name, nama. Nam, nama saya Alena. Any, uh, any, call, call God saya. Nama ayah saya Ahmad. Daya si orang Jordan. Nak daya dia 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 si orang Jordan. Ya. Na, nama abu saya Paula Arena. Abu or ibu? Ibu. Ya. Yeah. Daya. Daya, sorry, daya, daya or dia? Dia. Dia soren, soria Roma. Hmm? Saya ada tiga orang adik rid. Tik, mm -hmm. nama abang saya Azman. Mm -hmm. Daya suka. Not daya, dia. Dia suka membaca buku. Sound of C, where is it? Sound of C, memba. Memba. Ah, sound of C, where is it? Memba. Memba. Membaca. Memba. Membaca, mm -hmm. ya, membaca buku. Ya. Nama adik Pirimo Pun. <laughs> Nama adik perempuan. Perempuan. Hmm? Saya Paula Amira. Ya. Dia, no, um, dia suka spirm. Ni uh, suka firmi firmin mm -hmm. dengan anak patung dengan anak patung bonang saya send kolor keluarga 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 saya yes very good okay okay thank you nasi terima kasih nice to try so, Okay, class, listen carefully. I try to read again. Please catch my pronunciation, ya. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, semua. Nama saya Alina. Ini keluarga saya. Nama ayah saya Ahmad. 
Dia seorang juru tera. Nama ibu saya pula Arina. Dia seorang suri rumah. Okay, next sentence. Saya ada tiga orang adik beradik. Nama abang saya Azman. Dia suka membaca buku. Nama adik perempuan saya pula Amira. Dia suka bermain dengan anak patung. Saya sayang keluarga saya. Okay. Hmm. Ha, please look at the vowel and know how to, what the sound of the vowel. Okay, try to make it the sound. Okay, simple. Alright, so I already tell you what the meaning for those who are coming a little bit late. So I just take a, uh, just, just one minute to introduce what the meaning uh, about this paragraph. Okay. Hi semua. Hi, greeting for everyone. Nama saya Alina. My name is Alina. This is my family. Nama ayah saya Ahmad. My father's name is Ahmad. That means it's Alina's name is Ahmad. She is an engineer. Nama ibu saya pula Arina. Okay, my mother's name is Arina. That means it's Alina's mother's name is Arina. She is a housewife. Saya ada tiga orang adik beradik. That means it's Alina. She have a three of sibling. Okay, three of sibling. The first one maybe Alina. Nama abang saya Azman. The second one Azman. She uh, she is a uh, brothers Alina's brother brothers. Dia suka membaca buku. Okay, she he love to read books. Okay, nama adik perempuan saya pula Amira. The youngest one is Amira. Okay, dia suka bermain dengan anak patung. She love to play with a doll. I love my family. Okay, this is a talking about the family. The story a very easy, a very short, okay, where you can tell me about your family. Okay, because in your exercise, you have to write down about your family. But if your family, you just the only one child in your family. So maybe your story just uh, the first paragraph only. Okay, because you don't have a sister, you don't have brother uh, to tell with us. Okay, maybe your story just uh, about your mother's occupation only. Okay. If you are the only one, but if you have a brother, even the, the, the one brothers only, yes, you can continue for with the second paragraph. All right. So, guys, uh, okay, Sally, okay, listen carefully, everyone. In test one, okay, next week in test one, actually, you will be an oral test where you have to read the paragraph same like this one. I mean, it's not the same paragraph lah. Uh, similar, okay, for sure not the same paragraph, but similar, okay, you will be found the same word sometimes like seorang, keluarga, okay, uh, perempuan, okay, sometimes you will be found the same word, so you have to make a sum of practice lah to make sure your pronunciation is very good because they have tense mark for reading, okay, reading paragraph only. For the second uh, actually, this is the question number two. Okay, question number one. Uh, you have to introduce yourself. Okay, I, I will be detailed about the introduce yourself at the end of the class. Okay, the second part, you have to read the paragraph. Your paragraph is similar like this one. Very similar, like 100 and not 100%, like 99% like this one. Maybe they just change about the name of the younger sister. That's all only. Okay, it's similar. So, you have to practice. And the third question, okay, the third question is from the text, okay, from this text, this text will bring you to answer the question, like this one, okay. Wait, huh? my com computer is late. Okay, look at, they give you a sum of question, okay, so you have to answer the question based on the text. Find the answer, okay, at the text. How to find the answer, I will teach you. Wait, yeah, I have to delete this part. Hmm. 
Make sure everything is clear. Okay, guys. How to find the answer? I will teach you. Find the keyword. Find the keyword. Okay, let's say look at the first question. Siapakah nama ayah Alina? Siapakah is the is does the meaning is who? Who? Okay. Who? Because the examiner never translate to you. So please memorize. Siapa? That's meaning who? Who? Ayah. Ayah is for what? Mothers, brother, sister? Father. Fathers. Fathers. Father. Who's fathers? Alina's father. Alina's father. So the question is, who is Alina's father's name? Okay. So find the keyword Alina's father. Ayah Alina. Ayah Alina. And look at the previous slide. Okay. Look at the text. Ayah Alina. Nama saya Alina. Ini keluarga saya. Nama ayah saya. Look at. Nama ayah. I mean it's Alina's fathers. Who is it? Okay. Don't That's answer it. Don't, don't, don't answer now. Don't answer now. Please <laughs> answer now. Keep. Okay, just keep it. Because you have to answer the question. Okay, I give you five minutes. You have to answer the question. Alright. Okay. I just want to in, uh, explain what the meaning for is the question. Okay. So settle about question number one. Question number two. Up. Apakah? Apakah that means what? Okay, what? What's about what? Bapa. Bapa who is it? Refer for whose? Bapa? Bapa is father, right? Okay, Alina's fathers. Okay, what Alina's father? What the meaning of pekerjaan? It is the job for job. Yes, jobs. So that means is what Alina's father's job. Okay, find it. Okay, what's Alina's father's job? So, go back to the previous slide and then find the keywords, father's job. What is it? Alina's father's job. Okay, find the keyword. Okay, number three. Actually, the question number three is same like the first question. They're asking about whose? Mother. Mother. Yeah, Alina's, Alina's mother's. Alina. So, who is Alina's mother's name? Okay, all right. Who is Alina's mother's name? So, the number four. Alina ada berapa orang adik-adik? The kids, the berapa, that means how many? How much? Seven. So, the answer must be followed by the numbers. Okay, so you have to remember what the numbers is. Because they cannot uh, write down the number. They just spell the number. Okay, so the keyword is adik-beradik. What meaning adik-beradik? How many siblings does Alina? Have. Okay, adik beradik. So go to the previous slide. Find the keyword adik beradik. Did, did you find the keyword adik beradik? You find it right at the sentence paragraph. Okay, I don't want to show you where is the keyword. You have to find with your own. Okay, adik beradik. And the last question is apakah hobi adik Alina? What? What's hobi? Hobi for Azman or the younger sister? Adik Alina. Younger sister. Yes, younger the younger sister. So find the find the keyword from the text. All right. So I believe everyone, you are clear about the question. So I play the previous slide. So I give you a few minutes. Try to find the answer, and I will call your name, and then tell me what the answer is.
Okay, class. Done? Sudah? Boleh? Boleh or tak boleh? Can or cannot? Can boleh. I? Boleh. Very good. Okay, so. Uh, may I have Mu Jing Juan? Are you there, Mu Jing Juan? Mu Jing Juan. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Okay, so Mu Jing Juan, please read your answer for no. question number one. Oh, uh, um, teacher, I. I uh, what? I can't. Uh, please give me some minutes, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. So I I called another person. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, eh. Okay, Li Chenyang. Li Chenyang. Li Chenyang. Yes. Okay. Yes. What the answer number one? Number one, mm -hmm. uh, so Alina's father's name is uh, Aman, uh, Amanda, Amanda, Man. mm -hmm. Amanda, it, yeah. Can, can you read uh, in Malay language? Sorry? What the answer in Bahasa Melayu? What the answer in Malay language? Uh, uh, Alina's father's name is uh, Ahmed. Yes, Alina's father's name is Ahmad. Okay, but now we are in Malay class. Can you answer me in Bahasa Melayu? How to write down Alina's father's name is Ahmad in Bahasa Melayu? Ah, uh, yeah, I, 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 I know. Uh, yeah. so. Uh, nama Yaha saya Ahmed. Ahmad nama ayah saya. Ahmad no Amanda eh. Amanda is like a girl names. <laughs> Ahmad ya. Yeah? Ahmad. Yeah. Amanda. Okay. Yeah. Amanda. Nama saya. Nama ayah saya Ahmad. Alright. So guys. Uh, how many of you write down the same uh, answer like this one? How many of you? Is Me. it the same? Okay. No. Okay. Mrs. Yeah. Moore. To be honest, just I read, uh, I write uh, Ahmad. This is okay uh, in the exam or not? Okay, you just you just write Ahmad only. Ali. Yeah. Can, can, can I say that it's your uh, Nama Aya Daya Ahmad? Who's speaking? Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad Aratabi. Okay, yeah. Muhammad Aratabi. All can, right, so we have a three answer, can I, right? Okay, can I write that? Okay, wait, I, I explain. Nama. Ayah, dia, you mentioned Ahmad, is it? Is it Ahmad? Yeah. Eh, Muhammad, okay. Ahmad. Okay, actually, the answer is right because almost of you put Ahmad as Alina's father's name. Yes, Alina, Ahmad is Alina's father's name. But what happened with the answer is nama ayah saya Ahmad, okay. Saya refer, okay, merujuk di sini, me. refer, that's me. So me. the question asking Alina's father is not your father's. Okay, uh, the question asking Alina's father's name. So you have to change nama ayah Alina. Okay, you have to change nama ayah Alina. Not, not the answer, nama ayah saya Ahmad. If you put nama ayah saya Ahmad, this means your father's name is Ahmad. So now, question asking about Alina, not your father's. So that's why you have to change saya to Alina. Because in this paragraph, write down saya. Okay, because in this paragraph, write down saya. Because saya refer to Alina. Okay? Yes. Uh, Alright, so got it? Nama ayah uh, Alina Ahmad. Okay, for the second answer, let us call it. Call it just say Ahmad. Okay? So, in your exam, please uh, answer with a full of sentence. Okay? Not just Ahmad only. If you just say Ahmad, you will get the half of marks only. Okay? okay so, call it clear, eh? Yeah, I'm not allowed yes. to, to uh -huh. answer in direct way. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Okay, you just put the, the point on the Ahmad. Okay, it's okay lah. Okay. Uh, is, is it okay for your notes? But if you want to answer in exam, please answer with full of sentence. 
Nama ayah Ahlina Ahmad. Not just Ahmad only. Okay. If they are in the oral yeah. test, you just say Ahmad. Yes, you will get the marks at half only. Okay. Alright. So, remember everybody eh. Okay. For the second uh, for the answer. Nama ayah dia Ahmad. Yes. This is also correct. Fully. Good. Yes. Uh, if we say it, Alina nama ayah Ahmad. This is wrong. Okay. Alina nama ayah Oh, what about it? Alina. Can you repeat? Can Alina? Alina, nama, nama ayah Ahmad. Okay, Alina, nama ayah Ahmad. Okay, wait there. Eh? Let's explain for this, for this, uh, the third answer. I will explain about Alina, nama ayah Ahmad. Okay. Nama ayah dia Ahmad. Is it correct? Because dia is referred to Alina. Yeah. Okay, so very good answer. Alright, for the last answer, Alina, nama ayah Ahmad. Okay, this is not follow the structure. <laughs> okay, like, uh, like when you um, when you want to introduce, my name is Hidayah. Hidayah name is ada sekolah. Okay, so you have to biasakan diri dengan susunan bahasa Melayu. I mean, you have to try to uh, follow by the structure in sentence bahasa Melayu. Okay, actually nama Ayah Alina Ahmad. No, uh, uh, Alina nama Ayah Ahmad. You actually looks like you try to translate word by words. Alina's father's name is Ahmad. Okay. Uh, is Alina na Alina nama Ayah Ahmad? Yes. Really looks like you are translate word by word. Actually, the structure in Bahasa Melayu and structure in English that are very different. Okay. So that's why we start from the basics, basic lesson. Okay, to make sure everyone, you can follow about the sentence, about the words, okay. Alright, so this answer is, is uh, incorrect lah. Okay, but don't worry, okay. You learn something for today. Okay, settle ya, guys. Okay, so we go to the second question. What the second answer? May I have uh, Muhammad Asfandiar Khan? Yes, miss. Uh... Pekerjaan Papa Alina Jurutera. Okay, pekerjaan Papa Alina Jurutera. Okay, semua so answer. Do you have a other answer? Uh, excuse me, Ayah Alina seorang Jurutera. Ayah Alina seorang Jurutera. Okay, another one, some more. Some more. Dia. Dia. Surah. Jurutera, is it? Yeah. Okay, so all of our answer is correct. Okay, pekerjaan bapa Alina, maybe you can put iyalah. Iyalah is just like is. Okay, iyalah is just like is. Oh, sorry, sorry, what happened? Uh, maybe you can add on. The extra word is pekerjaan bapa Alina ialah jurutera. Or maybe you can answer ayah Alina seorang jurutera. Or the best answer, dia seorang jurutera. Because dia refer to bapa Alina. Okay, got it guys? Alright, so we go to the third question. Uh, may I have... Uh, Chu Chia Hui. Okay, this guy is not here, is it? Chu Chia Hu. Hamad Mu'it Hamad. Al Sagor Mu'it Hamad. Yes, yes. Yeah, what answer number three? We could say Nama the Nama the. Wait a minute. Nama Ibu Alina Arina. Okay, maybe you can say iyalah lah. Okay, like this. Iyalah Arina. Yes. Okay, actually the answer for question number three, same like question number one. You have to change yeah. Ahmad to Arina only. Yes. The same method lah. Alright, so clear. Terima kasih Ahmad. Okay, number four, question number four. Uh, may I have Chiu Min? Chiu Min? Chiu Min, are you there Chiu Min? 
Yeah. Okay, what do you answer number four? Uh, okay. Mm. 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 The question number four. I mean, question number four, not number five. Is that the answer for number oh, five? Question oh, number four. Ali uh, Alina Adat Tika Oni Ondra Ondran Ati Kempendra Tik. Okay, Alina ada tiga orang adik beradik. Oh, sorry. That's very good. Correct answer. So, for guys, do you have a different answer? You have another answer? Yeah. Terima kasih, Tiumin. Okay, this is the correct answer. Okay, is that the only answer? Okay, Alina ada tiga orang adik-beradik. Okay. Some of you, maybe they put the answer is Alina ada abang, Alina ada adik. Is that the incorrect answer? Because they're asking how many, how? Okay, so three. that. Yes, three. Right. So, terima kasih, Kumin. Okay. So, the next, uh, Muhammad Thank Ibrahim. You. Yes. Yes. What the answer Muhammad for uh, number five? The answer number five. Yeah. Answer number five. Hmm. Um. Yeah, Muhammad uh, Ibrahim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope, dear, hmm. Ada, uh, mamba, mamba, cha, book. Membaca buku. Okay, are you sure membaca buku is Alina's sister's hobby? Buku. Ah, uh, I do so cool. Okay, membaca buku, is it Alina's sister, younger sister hobby? Look at. Yeah. Membaca buku. That's not... No. Huh? Yeah, no. membaca buku is Azman hobbies. Okay? Yeah. So just now, Amira hobbies, what is it? Potter. Hmm? <laughs> Dengan potter. Try to read. Sentence. Try to read the sentence. I want to text your pronunciation. Dia so ka. Hobi dia. Dia Ya, dia so ka. Um. Dia so ka permen. Dia por permen. 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 What is it? Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Ibrahim, follow me. Follow yeah. me, eh? Try to read. Dia suka... Ibrahim, follow me. Dia suka... Yeah. Dia suka... Bermain... Bermain... Dengan... Dinia... Anak patung. Anak patung. Yes. Okay. Alright, so the answer is hobi adik Alina or hobi dia ialah bermain dengan anak patung. Okay? Uh, maybe the answer is dia suka bermain anak patung is still correct. Okay. Okay, so which one lah? Alright. But if you put the hobby is reading book, membaca buku, is that incorrect? Because this is the Azman hobby, not Alina's younger sister hobby. Okay, guys, clear about that? All right. So this is what happened for next week. Okay. Uh, so they have a tree of question. Okay, tree of question for your test one. The first one you have to introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, it's not to all of item because like the last time I teach you uh, so many items where you have to introduce your name, your country, uh, your age, your residence, your faculty, right, some more. 
your hobby and what is it? More, one more thing. Uh, I'm not sure lah. What is it? So, you need to a few of item only. So, let's say lah. Let's say, for example, the Azimina say, please introduce yourself just nama asal faculty. So, you have to explain about your name, your origin and your faculty only. Not to all. What happened if you try to answer all of the things I teach you the last time? Okay, let's say you try to uh, memorize the script and then you just read the script for the examiner. That means you did not understand what the question needed. Okay, so you have to remember, you have to focus for the question. Okay, because each person, the different question. For example, Ibrahim just need to introduce about name and property also. But for how much you have to introduce your name and your status, marital status. And the Cheng Meng, you have to introduce about your name, your country, and your resident. Okay? So you have to remember about the vocab, you have to remember about the meaning on that. Is that the first question? For the second question, you have to read some of paragraph. Okay? The paragraph is similar like that. Similar, 99% like that lah. But not same, just similar. Okay, so please read with a good pronunciation. Try to practice. Please refer our lecture notes uh, in topic one. Okay, after and the end of the class, I will put the links uh, about the previous class in YouTube link. You can preview, check your reading. Okay, and the third question, uh, the examiner will give you a few of questions. So you have to answer the question based on the text. Find the answer on the text. How to find the answer? Find the keyword you will be find the answer. Okay? All right. So clear about that. Don't worry. I will give you the... Very much, Mr. Yes, sama, sama. Can I ask question, please? Yes, where is it, Judith? Uh, Tadi or Khalid? Oh, Khalid, sorry. Yes. Yeah, Khalid. This is an automated test or you are going to do it for, for us? Oral test. Oral test. Yeah, not writing test. Ah, okay. Okay. Settle, yeah? Okay, so let's move to the slide number six. Settle about family. So now let's move about the friends. Good friends. Okay, or best friend. Whatever lah. Okay, some of you say good friends. Some of you say best friend. Okay. All right. So I just pick up the, the pictures from the Google. So if you know that guy, say sorry, yeah? I just pick up the... The, that's kind of Google, all right. So I try to read the paragraph, all right. So listen carefully. Hi, semua. Same greeting with other the family. Hi, everybody. Ini sahabat baik saya. This is my good friend. Okay. This is my good friend. Nama dia Ravi. Okay. His name is Ravi. Dia sangat tinggi. Okay. He is very tall. Kulit dia gelap. His skin is dark. Rambut dia pendek. His hair is short. Dia kurus. He is thin or slim. Dia sangat tampan. He is very handsome. Okay, not just handsome only but very handsome because you find the word sangat. Sangat, that means it's very. Is mm. I try to delete this word. Okay, so the meaning, he is handsome. When I put sangat, so the meaning is, she is a she, but he is very handsome. Dia sangat ceria. He is very cheerful. Okay, alright, so this part, okay, this is how you, you describe about your best friend. Uh, you can tell me about their height of your friend, about the skin color, about their uh, length of their hair and the physical shape also about their physical appearance and also about the character. Okay, so this is what we will learn. Uh, we, we have to learn for today. Okay. Alright, so first of all, look at, I teach you how to describe about their hair, about their long hair. Okay, so hair is rambut. If you want to mention you have a friend, she have a long hair. 
So we have to call rambut panjang. Rambut panjang. Panjang, panjang that means it's long hair. But if you want to describe she have short hair or he have short hair, rambut pendek. Okay, rambut pendek. Okay, sometimes they have a long hair but very straight, so straight. So, rambut panjang and lurus. Rambut lurus, I mean it's straight hair. Okay, so you have to memorize this word because sometimes you will be found this word in your text for your final your for your test one. So please memorize yeah. Rambut keriting. Rambut keriting is refer for curly hair. Curly hair. Rambut keriting ya. Yeah? Okay, rambut hitam. Now we are talking about the colors. So I just teach you about two colors only. Okay? Hitam is black hair. Like the Asian people, they almost have a black hair. Okay? And beside the black hair, we have a rambut perang. That means is brown hair. Okay, brown hair. So I just teach you about two types of color. Hitam or perang about hair. But if your friend have a blue hair, pink hair, yellow hair, you have to find what the colors in Bahasa Melayu. Okay? Alright, so let's move. We are talking about uh, egg shape. Okay, but eyes. Eyes. Okay, eyes shape. Mata. Mata is eyes lah. Right. So, mata is eyes. Okay, if they have a round eyes, so we have to call mata bulat. Mata bulat, that means they have round eyes. But if they have a mata sepet, that means it's queenie eyes. Like a Chinese student. Like you are a Chinese student. Okay? Uh, mata sepet. Okay? Mata besar. Okay, look at. Sometimes, uh, they almost, the, the, the youngest, the woman, they have a small eyes. When the kids, Okay, her daughter makes her angry. Automatically, your eyes look so big like this one. Okay, mata besar. Mata besar. Big eyes. Alright. So we don't have a small eyes, eh? Ah, we don't have small eyes. Maybe you can call mata sepet for small eyes. Mata bulat for round eyes. Mata besar for big eyes. So now I teach you about the colors of eyes. Mata biru. Look at it look like uh, people, they are put of the lens in their eyes. Okay, mata biru. Mata hitam. Okay, what hitam. color? Mata what? hitam. Black. Black eyes. Black. Yes. Mata perang, what colors? Brown. Brown eyes. Okay, so is, is that what you have to do? You have to describe about your, your character appearance. Okay, your friend's character appearance. Okay, so settle about eyes and hair. So now I show you the simple sentence. How to mention about their eyes and their Rampan, hair. Alian, Rambut alia panjang. Okay, guys, hair, please practice. <laughs> guys, please mute your mic yeah, if you want to practice. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to mute to all of you. Please don't feel offended. Yeah. Okay, so now I try to read and please practice behind your mic with me. Okay. Rambut alia panjang, rambut alia keriting, rambut alia perang. So may I have Zhang Zhang Xiu Kang? Zhang Xiu Kang? Zhang Xiu Kang, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay. listening. Can yeah. you reach again? Hmm. Rabu uh, uh, rabu ale panjang. Not rabu. You have to pronounce T also. Rambut. 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 Rambut alia panjang. <laughs> yeah, we can pronounce it R. <laughs> you have to practice, yeah. Zang so okay. yeah. What the meaning of rambut alia panjang? Uh, mm, he, he's 
Pangjang, yeah. Oh, yeah, what do you mean? In her Pangjang. Yeah, mm. I, I'll, I'll forget. Yeah. Forget? Oh, forget. That's a few minutes. I, That's a few seconds. I teach you what the meaning of Pangjang. You forget it. <laughs> uh, Pangjang uh, has hair. Uh, her hair. Her hair. Okay, her hair Sorry. is? Yeah. Long. As, uh, uh, long hair, yeah. Yes, Alia hair long, is very long. long. Yes, yeah. Alia. Hair. I'm so worried, lah, Zhang Chiukang. Just a few seconds, I teach you. You forget. How about how long to next? I remember. Next week, <laughs> they have a long time. <laughs> All right, please yeah. do some of revision, okay, Zhang Chiukang. Alia's hair is okay, long. Thank you, okay, thank you, very good. Chao Dian, Chao Dian. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, read for the second sentence with the meaning. Uh, Rambu, Ania, Kariti. Meaning? Uh, uh, Alia has. Yeah. Alia has is what? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I forget again. <laughs> do what happened with you guys? Just a few, just a few seconds only. Okay, is it? I have to open the previous slide. Yeah. Huh? What is it, Khalid? Just continue for next week. Next week. It's curly. It's yeah. curly, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's curly. Okay, so what happened for next week? I don't know lah, okay? Uh, you have to make a uh, more pray, pray, pray. Okay, I pray to you. Everybody is safe. I'm passing your test one. Okay, rambut Alia is curly. Alia hair is curly. Okay, terima kasih. Ciao, Dian. Okay, yeah. Okay, ciao, Dian. Ciao, Dian. Can you answer yeah. for the third sentence? Stop. Yes, what is it, Amina? What is creating? I didn't understand the okay. word. Okay, creating is curly English. hair. Curly hair. Okay, got it, Amina. Okay, yes, thank I got it. Thank you for your uh, for your uh, asking. All right, rambut Alia Pirang. Chow Jin, answer again. Yeah. Please read the set the set sentence with their meaning. Mm. Uh, rambut Ania Perang. Not Perang, okay. Perang and Perang. If you read, if you read with E perfect, okay. Rambut Alia Perang, the meaning is brown hair. If you read yeah. Perang with E taling, Perang, this, the sound is Perang, the meaning is war. War, you know, war. Between the other, uh, the, the both of people war. Ah, let me one. Okay, so perang is war, but perang is brown. So, Chow Jin, I already give you the answer, your answer. Please repeat again. What the answer? Rambut alia perang. What the meaning is? Uh, alia, alia, alia hair is brown. Yes, alia hair is brown. Nasib baik boleh jawab. If not, I cut you okay all right terima kasih uh chu you way chu you way yes yes okay read the next uh, sentence with the meaning yes mata la la mata na ra la bu bu lai bu lai okay what do you mean? Uh, uh, her eyes is uh, brown. Brown? Blue? Mm. No, bullet. What do you mean, bullet? Very big. Oh, very God. big. No, very, very big. 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 Yes, brown. 
round, round, not round, round, round or circle. Naura eyes is round. Okay, round, round. Okay, so the last one. Terima kasih. Melin, Melin. Yes, teacher. Okay, the last one. Mata na round biru. Means uh, Nara has blue eyes. Yes, very good. <laughs> okay, Nara eyes is blue. Okay, got it. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's move. Is it, we ha I have to move or I have to go to previous slide? Okay, I open the previous slide and just for recaps only. Just remember about the meaning that, right? Rambut panjang is long hair. Rambut pendek is short hair. Rambut lurus is straight hair. Rambut keriting is curly hair. Rambut hitam is black hair. Rambut perang is brown hair. Okay, got it? Please remember, please memorize. Okay, <clears throat> about the eyes. Mata bulat is round eyes or circle eyes. Mata sepet is small eyes or squinny eyes. Mata besar is big eyes. Okay. Mata biru is blue eyes. Mata hitam, black eyes. Mata perang, not perang. Perang, brown eyes. Okay, got in the meaning? Uh, so please remember. Okay, so now let's move the topic about the face shape and skin color. Okay, remember, yeah, by the words. All right, bulat, what is it? About is the word same like uh, mata. Bulat, what is it? Some of people, they have a... Circle. Long. Circle or round face. Okay, some of people, they have a circle or round face. Okay, so muka bulat. Okay, not kulit, yeah, muka bulat. Okay, some of people they have what the between of the round bujur, bujur. What the name of the shape bujur? It just uh, look like a triangle. Triangle, triangle. <laughs> triangle. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What is it? Bujur, bujur. What we call it bujur uh, in Bahasa Melayu? Okay. Triangle. Huh? Rectangle. Okay. Yes. There's too many shapes, la, rectangle. Okay. Bujur is oval shape. Okay, that one is circle or round. So, bujur is oval shape. It's or... a, a look like a rectangular. Ah, rectangular. yes. Ah, yes. Boleh lah, boleh lah. Okay. Ah. Uh, like the egg shape, uh, almond shape. Okay. Ah, same like that lah, rectangle, rectangle lah. Alright. So, muka. Segi empat. What do we call it? Where you can see the jawline here. What the shape? Segi empat. What the name of segi square. empat? Square face. Yes, yeah, square face. Okay. Ah. So that's my. I repeat again. Round face, oval face, and square face. Okay. Ah. So now, what your face for? Uh, what your shape for your face? <laughs> Your, your shape. <laughs> Alright. So now we are talking about the skin color. Okay. I just described for two uh, only. Bright and dark. Bright is cerah. Okay. You can look at, look at the, 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 the side here. And the dark is gelap. Okay. Uh, I've got mentioned about the color. She's a black skin. She's a white skin. She has a blue skin like Avatar. Yeah, I did not mention about the color of yes, yeah, the plate. I just use bright or dark only. Okay. All right. So please memorize this word because I have to go to uh, the next. So now we are talking about the nose shape. Okay. The nose shape. They have uh, only two types. The first one is pointed and the second one is narrow nose. Okay. Or flat nose. Uh, this one, the first one is pointed and the next one is narrow nose or flat nose. Okay, 
mancung for pointed, pesek for narrowness. Okay, got it, class? All right. So now, ah, may I have a uh, Mansur Saleh, Al Zahrani Mansur Saleh? Are you there, Mansur? Yes. Yes, okay. I'm here. Please read for the first sentence with the meaning. Uh, Muka Rahia uh, Polat. Hmm? Ini? Uh, she has a uh, ra uh, round uh, face. Yes, okay. Rhea, Rhea face is round. She has a round face. Very good. Okay, continue. Uh, Hamid... Ha, Hamid Abalula. Abalula, are you there? Okay, no answer. Yu Chinyan. Yu Chinyan. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Okay, the second sentence. Kalut Rira Raya Kara. Kera, pronoun C. Sound of C is Kera. what? Not ke. Sound of C. Cera. Yes, cera. Kulit raya cera. Kulit raya cera. Okay, meaning? What the meaning, Chinyan? Uh, uh, his um, his eyes is a uh, 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 bright. His eyes is bright. Is it his eyes? Kulit or is it kulit? Uh, uh, kulit, kulit is the uh, color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kulit is what? Is it eyes? Okay, kulit is skin, right? Chinyan, Raya uh, skin is bright. Uh, <laughs> okay, Chinyan. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, kulit is skin, not eyes. Okay, Raya skin okay. is bright. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Wang Yundi. Wang Yundi. Teacher, I'm here. Okay, please read the, the next sentence. Hidung. Hidu puna mira. Not ma. puna, not puna. Puan. Pu, puan. Yes. Puan. Mira machun. Okay, what do you mean that? Hmm. What do you meaning? Hidung Puan Mira Mancho. What is that? Um, hmm. um, I, her, nose, um, her nose is is what do you mean Mancho? Um, what does it mean by mancho, guys? It's like the shape, the shape of the nose. Pointed. Yes. Point, point, yes. Pointed nose. Yes. Pointed nose. Okay, got it. Yandi, Yundi? Yeah. <clears throat> ah, because nose just have to type narrow nose or pointed nose. So mancho is pointed nose. Okay, Puan Mira nose is pointed. Okay. Uh, her yeah. nose is pointed or she have a pointed nose. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I'm so very... Puan Mira is her name. Yes, Puan Mira is her name. Okay, Puan Mira. Madam Mira. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, Puan is Madam like me. I, I told you at the beginning class, you have to call me Puan Hidayah. Madam Hidayah. Is it? Okay, so actually her name is Mira. Okay, so Madam Mira's nose. 
All right. Okay, settle. So we go to the next slide. All right. So now I want to teach you about the physical appearance. Okay, the characteristic, a physical appearance first, and also the characteristic. Okay, so the first of all, we're going to do about the physical appearance. Okay, so guys, this is a very important because um, you have to remember about the, the meaning for each verb. Okay, so guys, actually I have to give you a minute. You have to find what the meaning for each word. But because of our time is limited, okay, because we are at 1.30, we have to discuss about the test one. So I just give you the answer for each word, the, the, the meaning for each word, all right? So please memorize. Tinggi, okay? Tinggi, the meaning is tall, all right? Not high. If you try to find the meaning of tinggi with dictionary, sometimes you find the word, the meaning is high. Actually, now we want to describe about the people. So the best meaning is tall, not height, because height is suitable for building. If you want to mention about the building, you can use for this word tinggi for building. But if you want to describe other people, the meaning is tall, not height. Okay? Same. Rendah. Rendah, the meaning is short. Okay? The, the tall man and the short man. Sometimes, if you try to find the meaning with dictionary, you will be found also the meaning is rendah is low. Just now, we have to focus about the people. So, the best answer is short. Low suitable also for building, not for people. So, I repeat again, tinggi is tall, rendah is short. All right? Okay, so now, panjang. Panjang. Look at the picture. Panjang. Can you guys? What do you mean? Panjang long? is yes, long. long. Yes, long. Just look at the picture. You will find the meaning. Is panjang is long when you want to describe about their hair. Okay. And beside the long is what is it? Pendek. Short. Short. Okay. Short. Okay, so just now you're confused. Rendah is short, pendek also is short. Okay, yes. They have a same meaning, but the different word for Bahasa Melayu. Because rendah, you, where you want to describe about their height. Pendek, you want to describe about their length. Okay. Uh, she have a long hair or, or short hair? Is it you can use for rendah? No. Rendah is about their height only. All right. Okay, so gemuk. Gemuk. Look at the picture. What the meaning is? Fat. Overweight. Yes, fat. <laughs> Obesity, yeah. Obes. <laughs> fat. Gemuk is fat or obes. Kurus is? Thin. Slim. Thin. Thin or slim. Okay, thin or slim. Slim. All right. Besar. Refer the picture. What the meaning is? Big. Big. Kecil. Refer the picture. Is? Small. Small. All right. So I read again. Tinggi is tall. Rendah is short. Panjang is long. Pendek is short. short. Gemuk is uh, fat. Kurus is tiny. Besar is big. Kecil is small. Okay, put down uh, the meaning on your letter notes. I will ask you again at least. Uh, so now this is the last slide about the ca uh, appearance characteristics. Okay. So, berani. Okay, berani the meaning is brave. Brave. Some of you, they're very, you know, even they have a big body, but they are not brave. So what the what the opposite meaning but brave? What is it? Penakut. Timid. Yes. Coward. Yes, coward. Coward or timid. All right. Penakut. Berani is brave. All right. So ceria, like uh, our friends, Ravi. What is it? 
Do you remember? He is a very handsome. <laughs> not not handsome. 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 The next one. Okay. One more. Cheerful. Cheerful. All right. Like a ravi. Cheerful. Cheerier. Okay. Or always smile. Every time smile. Even they have a problem, just smile. Okay. Cheerier. So the opposite of cheerier, what is it? Pemarah. What is the meaning of pemarah? Rude. Pardon? I can hear. What is it? Rude. Maybe. Forward. Forward. Forward is penakut. Ah, uh, forward is penakut. So opposite of a uh, curia is grumpy. Is it pemarah? Yes, grumpy is pemarah. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, always make me angry, 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 angry. When we are looking for her face, is we uh, looks like a very stress, okay? Because she is a very grumpy, pemara. Okay, all right. So now, Mustre, Mustre is likes I likes you, okay? I try to be your friends. So Mustre is friendly. friendly, friendly. All right. So opposite of friendly is what? Aggressive. 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 Actually, not aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, the best answer is arrogant. Okay, arrogant. Friendly yeah. and arrogant. All right? Okay, so I believe almost in my class, you are kind people. By, by is kind. Okay, by is kind. So the opposite of by is? Good. Rude. Rude. Yeah, yeah, maybe roots, maybe roots. Okay. But uh, the best answer bad, evil, a shaitan, your regime. <laughs> okay. Jahat. Mm. Right? Jahat is bad lah. Okay. Reposit with the kind people. Okay. Handsome. Handsome is tampan. Cante is beautiful. Handsome for, for men, beautiful for women, cante. Okay. Uh, so opposite of Tampan and cantik is what? Ugly. 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 Yes. Hodoh is ugly. Okay. All right. So the last one. Rajin. If you want to pass in my subject, you have to. What is it? Hard working. Work hard. hard. Working. Yes. Work hard. Hard working. Same lah. Opposite of Rajin is what? Lazy. 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 <laughs> uh, sometimes you want to sleep. Eat and sleep. Eat and sleep. Stay lazy. Right? So this is the characteristics where you have to use this word. You have to memorize this word to answer uh, for your exercise. Okay? All right. So I was thinking we have finished about this lesson. So let me show to you about your exercise, how to find this exercise. Of course, you have to download from Putra Blast. Okay. Wait, yeah. Hmm? Why I can open. Okay, so now you can see my screen now about your exercise. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Wait, yeah. All right, so this is your exercise. Exercise three. So, first of all, you have to write down about your short essay about what family or your friends. Keluarga. And they have answered already, family. So you have to write family. down your short essay about your family. So family. You, can, you can use the same script like uh, Alina's family. Replicate from Alina's family to be your own uh, essay. Okay, to be your own essay. All right, so settle by number one. Number two. Okay, this is what I try to explain to you. You have to remember, remember you have to memorize the meaning for each word because you have to fill in the blanks with the correct answer. You have to answer the all of question. Okay, so A, kulit rani sangat. A, kulit rani sangat. Kulit, what does the, uh, what does the meaning by kulit? Skin. Yes, skin. skin. Okay. Skin, right? Rani skin is very. Uh, so, what the meaning of panjang? Panjang, is it, is it available uh -huh. for skin? Biru? 
Viru is blue color. In, is it Rani is avatar? She have a blue color. Is it Peset? What do you mean of Peset? Yeah. 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 Very good. Okay. What 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 the meaning of Chera? Fair. I mean, like it, it, it's it's. Uh, I mean. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Ah, right. So, kulit Rani sangat cerah. Okay. Alright. So, number two, hidung ni ni. What doesn't uh, meaning by hidung and mata. Okay. So, I don't want to answer now. So, you have to do with your own. Okay. Try to answer the all of question. And I try to make it a um, uh, class record last time. Where you have to find your exercise start from topic one, topic two, and topic three. Okay, from Putra Blast. And then I try to make it a sum of recording class uh, by this Friday. You can check the answer. Okay. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, sister. Yes. Uh, what time Friday? Because I have appointment. Uh, no, no, need because just a recording class only. I just give to you the link, so it's up to you. You want to produce uh, any okay, 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 that's fine. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, madam. Um, uh, I missed that. So, do we have to like submit this through Petra Plus? Or... <laughs> okay, this is what I try to explain. No need to submit. Okay, the first one, no, you have to complete. This is a mandatory, eh? But no need to submit. Okay. The second one, uh, I will make it a simple the uh, some of uh class records. How to discuss the answer? You can mm. text the answer from the class record. Thank you. So uh, I still I can't understand. I'm sorry for that, um, Madam. Um, so is that what we have to do on Friday? Okay. <laughs> yeah, on this Friday, okay. On this Friday, I try to make it a class record. Okay, I try to make it a class record and I will share with all of you about the links. If you want to follow, uh, if you want to check the answer about this exercise, okay, exercise one, two, three, you have to play, you have to uh, preview the class records on YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right. So class, I hope everything is clear about the class and about the exercise. So just now, I want to talk about your assignment and also about your test. Okay. So wait, yeah. I want to open about your assignment. Okay, this is your assignment. That's why I put in our group how you have to find your partner. Because some of students they ask me, teacher, teacher, what happened? Uh, what do you want? What do you mean about about the uh, how to find the partner? So this is what I try to uh, what I mean. Okay, because you have to complete your assignment. They have a marks. Okay, they have a marks. So they are very important. They have ten percent marks. All right, so first of all, you have to make a, from a group of two members only. Okay, so settle because every everybody already put down your name. So you already have your partner. Number two, you choose only one situation. What the situation is, okay, this is the situation. You have to choose one only, eh? not to all. First, about yourself, diri saya. Okay, second, you have to talk about keluarga saya, my family. Number three, sahabat baik saya, my good friend. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to interview your uh, your friend, your partner. Okay, and then you can use this broadcast to know about them. Maybe you can ask uh, your partner about their name, about their age, your origin, faculty, tempat tinggal, hobby. Okay. Alright, and also same like keluarga saya and sahabat baik saya. So you have to choose which one topics you like it. Alright, alright. That's why this assignment you have to do with your partner. Okay, so record a uh, interview session with the duration around two or three minutes only. Okay, 
must be used the vocabulary given in your interview session. This is the interview, uh, the vocabulary, what I mean it. All right. So number four, please insert the subtitle or I mean the dialogues in your video. Because of what? Sometimes your pronunciation in Bahasa Melayu not clear. So it's, it's a big problem to me to give your marks. Because I, I have to play again, again, and again. Because I'm not clear. What, what's the word you're trying to talking about? So if you put the subtitle, I have to refer, refer the subtitle. Okay? So please put the subtitle must be done in Bahasa Melayu, not English language. Not your own language. All right? So number five. Upload the video. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, madam. Uh, that means uh, I have to describe my partner. Yeah. In the group. Yeah. Okay. 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 Number five, upload the video to your own YouTube account. If you don't have YouTube account, you have to create your YouTube account. Okay. Uh, I, I, it's up to you. You want to use your friend's YouTube account, your daughter's YouTube account. It's, it's up to you. The most important, I just want the links only. Okay. You have to put in YouTube account, must be public, okay? Status in public, not private. Okay, use the attachment below to paste uh, your video links, okay? You have to submit with this form, okay? Put the topics about your family, about your friend, about yourself, and then the name of, uh, of you and your partner and metric numbers. And then submit this form in Putra Blast, all right? No need to submit your video, but submit this form. I just click the link here. Okay. And then, number six, you will be assessment, assess on pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, and fluency. That's why you try to make it a short, a simple video only. Okay. Please do not try to use bombastic words. No need. You can copy paste from about the Alina and Arif, remember? In the topic two, the simple dialogue only. Hi, selamat petang. Hi, apa kabar? What is your name? How old are you? Where are you come from? Okay, that's all only. Okay, because uh, the, the, the examiner, I will assess you based on your pronunciation, perhaps in grammar, and which also about your fluency. That's all. Okay, so you have to submit the due date before on week eight. So I put in the system, you have to submit before uh, for a December form. If not, you never submit. Okay, the system will be closed. Before December 4, 2021. Right? You have a two weeks to complete this assignment. Okay, settle about the assignment. So, any questions? So far, any question? Is it clear? Because we have to discuss about the test one. Two weeks to finish the first test. Yes. Just two weeks only. Okay. Settle, yeah. Individual work. Pardon, pardon, Amina. Yes, is it an individual work? Okay. This assignment? All right. Very, uh, very good question. Okay. Even you do it with your partner. Okay. But your marks based on your individual. Sometimes your partner, your partner, get their new, uh, the pronunciation is not good. Okay. But your pronunciation is very good, okay? But you have to help these others, okay? You have to help these others. Your marks based on your individual. Even you do it with, uh, with your partners, okay? Settle. Okay, so now uh, I want to talking with you about your test one, all right? So I, I hope about the assignment is clear, yeah, uh, guys? Okay, so I repeat again about the question for a test one, there are oral tests and eh? not writing tests, oral tests. So the time is same like the class time, okay? 20, what time? What the date is, 20? 23, November 23, uh, 12 to 2 p.m. So I have to call you one by one. So you have to get ready with your names in WhatsApp group, okay? So for five minutes early, everyone have to join the meeting with Zoom meeting because I want to take some of attendance and then everybody, you have to left the session. Okay. And then I have to call your name uh, by WhatsApp group. Okay. 
So I call your name, for example, Muhammad Ali is the first candidate. So you have to join the, the Zoom meeting and the session will begin. I will be asking you the three part of question. The first one, you have to introduce yourself. Okay, with the item I, I teach you, I, I taught you the last time. Number two, uh, you have to read a sum of paragraphs. And number three, you have to answer me a few of questions based on the paragraph. Okay, to settle. All right. So uh, for each student, the time uh, provide just two or three minutes only. Okay. Uh, sometimes three to four minutes only. If you have you are surrender, teacher, I don't know what the answer. I just say okay. So what about what, what the meaning if I say okay? I give you the answer. You didn't find the answer. I waiting that that that. So time is enough. I just say okay. Thank you, Khalid, for example, lah. Okay, okay. Thank you. So what what are the dozen of meanings? That's mean. Is you get a marks? No marks. Okay. So, uh, please. Please next. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, guys. What is it? Alamak, internet connection is unstable. Pula. Ajo, patut lah. Okay. <laughs> I repeat again. Okay. Ah, uh, nak repeat kat part mana? Eh? Okay. For example, okay. For each student, the time provide is three to four minutes only. Okay, so we have to pass, eh? Because we have thirty candidates. I have to finish in two hours. All right. So that's why your time is very short. Okay. For example, for example, I call the first candidate, uh, Khalid, for example. So Khalid come and she a very fluent. Uh, introduce herself. Very good. So the reading is very good, and uh, she can answer the all of question. Two minutes is okay, so done. And the, the second candidate come. The reading is slow, 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 but time is enough, four minutes. Number one is done, is question one is done, part two is done, but she's not done for, for question number three. It's up to examiner. Okay, the examiner uh, want to uh, continue with the question or just stop it here. Okay, so that's why I told you, you have to, uh, you need to practice your pronunciation. Okay. So it's up to you lah. Okay. It's up to you. You want to practice with uh, speedy or just slow. It's up to you lah. Try to practice about the Alina's family paragraph. That will help you to pass in your test one. Okay. So I told you the question in a test one is a very easy. Okay. Yeah lah. I told you it's very easy lah because I'm the teacher. Okay. Actually, the question, okay, actually the, the question come out from the lecture note. Okay, all of the lecture note. Same like Alina, Alina's family. Same, I told you. Uh, that's all. Okay, the most important about the reading. The reading have a 20 marks per sense. Introduce yourself, there's five percent only, five marks only. Introduce yourself, 20, 20. And answer the question is just five. So there are 30 marks. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, uh, I have a question. I have a question about the part theory. Uh, this uh, uh, question are related to the, this slide that you are teaching at now. Hmm? What do you mean about the question is? And uh, this uh, is uh, this slide are going to put uh, and are going to use a uh, yes, yes. uh, test. No, not this slide, la, not same, la. for sure it's not same. I mean, it's okay. I want to show you about the last semester question. Yeah, wait a minute. I try to find you about the last time question. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, two minutes only. Wait, wait. Um, Okay. Right. Hmm. Wait, wait, guys, wait.
Okay, guys, look at. This is a question from the last semester. Okay? For example, okay, they have a many set. Set A, set B, set C, D, E, and Z lah. So many set, okay? To make sure everyone did not share the question is with the others. All right? So first of all, you need to introduce yourself. So the examiner just need nama, asal, umur, tempat tinggal, and hobby. The only. Please don't tell about your marital status, about your uh, resident. No need, eh? If you tell us, also tell about the resident, about the status marital, you did not get the, the full marks because you did not understand what the question is. All right? So, question number two, you have to read the text, like this one. Okay, hi, not hiya. Some of people always say hiya, hiya. It's not hiya, eh? Hai, selamat pagi. Nama saya Ali. Ini kawan saya. Nama kawan saya Maria. That's all. Okay? So, you have to read the paragraph. So, look at question number three. You have to answer a few of question based on the text. Maria berasal dari mana? Berapakah umur Maria? Okay? Just three to four minutes only. So, that's all. Oh, why I close my, my camera? Okay, so now, everybody clear about the test? Ah, so you can imagine what happened is going to do for the next uh, weeks. All right, so just now, any question? Any uh, question? Yes. Um, I'm really having a uh, hard time to sign a group, so I don't know how. So hmm? I think if we want to pick his partner, yeah. Nasir, are you uh, in in our WhatsApp group? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, you just put down your name in the column, in the form I share with WhatsApp group. So you will be fine, the partner. Yeah, but I don't know how. I, I don't know how. I, I don't know how to put my name. It's in front of me now. So <laughs> I don't know where I put my name. So just put it in the... Um, Message okay. column. Okay, or? I try to check. Eh? I try to check your name. So for those you are, if you already found your partner, please contact your partner so you can start for your discussion how to make it for yeah. your assignment number one. So Nasir, I try to check your name. Yeah. Okay. If you did yeah, not okay. find your partner, I try to pair of you. Okay. okay. Even me, I didn't. Okay. Maybe, maybe Nasir, you can join with Judith. Abalullah because Abalullah is also is ne never find the partner. Okay, okay. Nasir and Abalullah. Okay, okay set the problem. Okay. All right. So next, so, any question? Any soalan? Yes, Nasir. Again. Yeah, I know. Just uh, enough. Pardon? Um, thank you. I don't know if you're talking to me or somebody else. <laughs> Inshallah, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Khalid. Do you have a question? Yes, Amina, what is it? Yes, thank you. Thank yes, you very please, Doctor, don't forget to share the video of this lecture. Because yes, I for have, sure, yes. Yeah, I yes. have a problem with the network today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, because you have many times tried to admit me, okay. So, uh, don't worry, guys. I tried to share about our previous class, uh, start from topic one, topic two, and today. Okay, so you can play our previous class in YouTube link. So guys, ada soalan lagi? Any question? No? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Yes, where is it? Uh, uh, we, don't, uh, we do not live in the same place. We can only use online meetings. Uh, yes. Does the video we submit on YouTube need to be in the form of a question and answer? Yes. For, for example, when we choose the topic one, one person needs to introduce himself and uh, another people also need to introduce himself. Okay, okay, okay. I forgot to explain how to make it your video, okay. You can use a sum of, uh, they have a many application. You can use a Google Meet, you can use a Zoom meeting because yeah, I believe everyone is in the other country, okay. So can you, you have to do it with the online, 
read the session, put the subtitle, and then upload in YouTube. That's all. Uh, okay. uh, but this okay. is, but this is dark log. Yes, yes. What uh, is it, Man, Majin? What is it? Uh, I mean, uh, we need we need to introduce ourselves. Uh, everyone, or it's a dialogue between the two of us. You have to introduce your friends, not not your yourself. Okay. For example, Khalid asking Nasir. Oh. Khalid asking Nasir, and then ask. Oh. Uh, Nasir asking Khalid the same topics. Okay. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, I see. Uh, okay. So that's all only about your assignment. Very simple. You can uh, you can do after the, at the end of the class, open the Zoom meeting, and then record the session. That's all. Okay? okay. But I forget to to uh tell you just the only one only to submit in Putra Blast, not got few. Okay, mm -hmm. just now we have a 15 group. So I put 15 people only uh, have to submit in Putra Blast. Please don't both of you to submit. That's one only. Because you already okay. put your uh, partner names. Okay, no need. Say both of you, no need. This is very important. Because I open the system just for 15 people only have to submit. Okay, for each, for each group, just one only to submit. Alright, so clear about that, yeah, class? Yes. So one person submit two video for him and his partner. Yes, not two video, just one video, okay? One person, you have yes. to compile your video. You have to compile. Khalid and Nasir, you have to compile your video. For example, yeah, if Khalid do it with Nasir, just now Nasir do it with Abalula, right? So you have to compile your video, make it a one video and submit. Just only, uh, Nasir only, for example, okay? If Nasir have a problem to submit because they have a problem with the internet, maybe Abalula only submit, okay? Okay. All right, so class, I just assume we have finished already, but if you still have any inquiries about the test one, about the assignment or everything, drop your inquiries in our WhatsApp group. Uh, as soon as possible, I try to uh, reply. If, if I'm not, maybe your, uh, your classmate will be help you to reply, okay? So that's all okay. for today. Assalamualaikum okay. and jumpa Assalamu lagi. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Jumpa lagi. Jumpa lagi. See you. Goodbye. 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 Yeah.